Welcome back to Focus Real Estate's weekly video blog. This week's topic is the Focus 5. I would hold up both hands, but that would be the Focus 10. Uh, Focus 5 this week. What are we going to chat about, Mr. Gold? The five different types of housing purchases. Oh, yeah! This affects both sellers and buyers, and it's good to know. Yeah, I, absolutely. I think the most important one, and probably the one we'll talk about the most, is the first home purchase. Um, so your very first home and what that's about. I think uh, it's really interesting um, working with first time home buyers. It's actually very gratifying. Um, lots of fun and, and lots of um, uh, interesting conversations around the, around those purchases. But lots of education and uh, lots of education. And, and, and it's, it's transformative for someone to buy their first home. And it's that first home that allows you to get a footing into the housing market and then and from move there in the market. Exactly. Which brings us to our next um, the second point of our focus five, it's the moving up. Number two. So, the move up house. Yeah. Usually it's after someone has been a first home uh, owner uh, after a number of years. Hopefully they have some equity and most likely they have a little equity in their home. They haven't been paying rent out every month just to a landlord Burn. and see it yep. go nowhere else in return but a place to live. And they might want a little more space. Perhaps they have a growing family. Whatever. And move on up um, to their second home. Indeed. Indeed. Um, and then the next home from there would be more of a dream home where people kind of move into that area where they're like, okay, you know, I, I've got the kids and schools and stuff like that. And now I really want to move from my move up home to something a little bit more dreamy. Maybe you've always wanted it to your ideal garage. perfect house. Indeed. You know? Or at least as close as we can get to it. Exactly. <laughs> um, and then conversely, number four would be the move down. So kids are empty school, nester, empty nester, change in lifestyle. Don't need that big dream home anymore. It may be smaller than the, than the moving up or the dream home, um, but usually when you're moving down, you still want a little bit more high-end and luxury, smaller space, but really, really refined and nice space. Indeed, indeed. And then the last one we're going to chat about is just an investment property. Be that a second home where you want to... Um, uh, um, beach, house beach house or house. get away or second home somewhere. Uh, or, or an investment property that you're just purchasing for rental. Um, and as an investment. So, And what's important to know is when you're out there, if you're a buyer, you're looking, know where you're at in the process and what you're doing. And so if you're a first home buyer, don't expect it to be your dream home or get everything your first time, um, your first Indeed. home purchase. And if you're a homeowner, knowing what kind of house you have and who you're, who's your audience, who's your audience. Yeah. And we can help market to that, uh, setting up those expectations. Um, so that we can find that perfect buyer for your perfect house. Indeed, indeed. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions about kind of those different property types and, and uh, what that means in the marketplace, just drop us a quick line. Um, don't forget to uh, like us on Facebook, everybody. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, stay, stay tuned, tuned and stay, stay focused. focused. Are we live? Ha ha ha!